Hey, it's Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. So I have to tell you, I was originally going to do a video today. However, my YouTube is just not cooperating. So I thought I would do a meditation actually for you. I think that this is a great opportunity for that. It also kind of lends to the topic that I wanted to talk about anyway. So I hope that you will enjoy this meditation. So the way that I do meditations is I will channel in the energy. So if you're new to receiving energy, then this will be new for you. And I hope that you, since, you know, we've been working together for a while now and you've been listening and watching Above Life channel on YouTube, that you know me well enough to know that I will honor the energetics and call in your individual personal spirit, your intuition as the gatekeeper, as the guide for you so that the energy that I share with you will be funneled through you, through your higher self, your highest self, your own personal intuition. That's how it works. Some people can have healing experiences during these guided meditations and visualizations. And others can just simply be calm, feel at peace, and finally get some sleep. Whatever it does for you is exactly what is needed at this time. So settle in, get comfortable. Whatever you're sitting on or lying on, just make sure you're comfortable. Because it's really important for your physical body to be part of this experience. To be able to fully receive, you must be in your body. I know that's contradictory to what some spiritual teachers have been talking about. Leave the body, astral travel, go back to your past lives, go to your future self. And all of those things have their place and their time. <laughs> Although, is there actually time anyway? Oh, that's a whole nother conversation. But today, here and now, your body regardless of your tumultuous relationship with it, it is holding you. And I will keep it sacred. I will honor it. Your body, your beautiful, bold body that has carried you all this way, all this time. The bumps, the bruises, the scars, the imperfections. They're like roadmaps or history books to show where you've been, where you've traveled, how you've lived, and the experiences that you've had, some painful and some joyful. Ooh, those tattoos. Ooh, I see those tattoos, baby. Oh, yes, I do. The body expresses oneself. It is not intended to be judged. So hopefully during our time together, there will be some softening of that inner critic, of that self-sabotaging mindset that keeps you separate from your beautiful, amazingly miraculous body. So take a moment to just feel the natural rhythm of your breath as your chest rises and falls. And for some of you, you'll get real deep, real fast and feel your belly rising and falling, expanding and contracting. And if that's uncomfortable for you, if that feels weird, it's okay. Allow the discomfort by recognizing that that is exactly how you feel in this moment. Feelings are meant to be information, not to be pushed aside or stuffed into that belly, hidden deep in that belly area, but to flow and to move. And that's it. Nothing more. It's not intended to dictate or control you. A common misperception, indeed. So as you're breathing in and exhaling out, feel the energy on your back. Your higher self and your spiritual helpers coming around you, gathering around you now. We got your back. We got your back. Feeling the warmth of energy at your back. 
softening the shoulders, letting the shoulder blades fall into position in a comfortable state. Not on hypervigilant, high alert, but softening the shoulders. You might even want to roll the shoulders back a little bit or stretch your arms a bit as you are just breathing in. And exhaling out, noticing your body and how it is moving with these simple tasks, breathing in and exhaling out. Feeling the shoulders, awareness to that meridian across the shoulders. It is where you hold your burdens. It's where you carry the weight of the world. It is where you give yourself permission now here in this now moment to soften the body at the shoulders. While the breath flows into the belly like a well, filling it, expanding it. Yes, making it a bit awkward or uncomfortable at times, but let the diaphragm just be part of your exhale. Oh, yes, in particular, I'm going to ask you to focus on the exhale. Oh, I know you may not have even closed your eyes yet. That's fine. Stare at the ground. Soften your eyelids if you'd like. It's your body, your choice. As you breathe in, focus on your exhale, release the air with intention. Breathe out, open your mouth and let the air come out. If you're not comfortable doing that, I ask that you try. I ask that you trust. I ask that you do make some noise. And if you feel uncomfortable, good. This is a safe place to be uncomfortable with the body. Exhaling out. (sighs) Don't listen to how you sound. That is a form of judgment coming into the mind and the brain taking control of things as it often does. This is about your body, precious one. This is about your breath. Feel your breath in your body. Oh, I'm aware that my lungs are holding. My lungs are kind of frozen. They feel a little stiff. And I would love for them to soften, to feel a beautiful energetic. So I'm going to bring in some pink light energy as you're breathing in. Feel free to receive this energy or to adjust or mute the color as is appropriate for you, determined by your higher self. Utilize now your brain and the function of imagination. And visualization, use your mind, give your mind the job to imagine the color, what color comes in. Light, pale, baby pink is what I see. Oh, no, no, it is non-gendered. It is about love, the natural energetic of love in the air, in the breath that you take, in the breath that you are capable and competent to receive without even thinking you're breathing. Right now, you are thinking about your breath. Or perhaps you are going through a litany of of uncomfortableness, a list of what you're uncomfortable about right now in your physical body. And I ask for you to be aware and to set that aside. Simply focusing on the feeling of the breath coming into the body. So you notice your body. Pay attention to your body. The miraculous systems that move you in a rhythmic fashion that keep you alive so that you can do all of the things and none of the things on this day. Breathing in. Exhaling out. Feeling into the base of your spine now. The base of your tailbone. The very bottom of your root your sits bones, your butt, the very bottom of you. If you're sitting, you will feel this. Let your pelvis soften and relax. Your legs fall to the side to find a comfortable posture. Allow yourself to soften the back so the spine is comfortable, fluid in its motion. You can move, you can wiggle, you can stretch as you are comfortable in doing. Finding a balance between discomfort and the noticing of things for judgment and the discomfort in the responding to the requests of your beautiful body 
and it's asking of you. Don't hold it so tight. Don't hold the base of the spine so rigid. Soften it. Let the body curl a bit. Let the pelvis come forward a bit to face up, to tilt up a bit so that that sun chakra energy of your belly, of your solar plexus can receive and amplify this good positive, healthy energy that you are breathing in, that soft pink loving light coming into the body now. As you are noticing your root chakra, letting this energy of this pink move through wrapping in a spiral fashion around your spine, down into the pelvis, into the base of the pelvis, into that beautiful triangle point rich red maroon brick red earth energetic pointing downward to this lifetime now to the here now present through the base of the body the energetics of who you are your energy being your energy essence your grid systems now working with the body recognizing the holding of the body the holding in a gentle way as a mother would hold a baby an infant and then with a motion of leaning or swaying, rocking forward and back or side to side, whatever feels best for your body, check in with your body, ask it. How would you like to move so that this energy of the rich red brick maroon earth is holding the center point of you so that you may blend the light, soft pink energy that's spiraling down your spine, past your solar plexus, that yellow golden sun chakra, and down into the pelvis to fill the belly with a pink, a soft, light, beautiful, gentle, and genuine. Oh, Oh, so genuine, that energy filling that sacrum area, filling that pelvis as you sway softly side to side or forward and back. Gentle movement, somatic, rhythmic, simple, easeful energetics. Combining the flow of the pink loving energy with the rich red root to ground, not keep you, keep you stuck, but rather to steady you in a centering point at the base of that spine. Breathing in, filling the lungs now with the energy, allowing yourself, if it's comfortable for you, to draw that energy from the root up in from the pelvis up in to fill the chest cavity with that red, rich, luscious energy of earth, that supportive, strong, very centered, stable energy coming into the heart space now, blending with that light pink, that rich red and the light pink, the rich red and the light pink together creating a supportive internal structure for you here now, for you here in your body, to love your body with the life force that you have been created to connect to and through, through the earth essence. The earth is about manifesting It is about support. It is about walking your path. You need this energy. It is essential. And you have been missing it, my dear, because you have not fully been able to allow yourself to know your body and the wisdom of when there is discomfort in the body, how to manage it, not to numb it. As you breathe, your breath It brings in exactly the medicine you need. It brings in the awareness. It brings in strength. Breathe it in now. Breathe and connect with the strength. 
that makes you human, that makes you a person, that draws into your body the incredible power of stability, of strength, of wisdom, of grace and gentleness, impassioned kindness, for the body that you are now, at this point, at this stage, at this state of your life, embrace this body. Be in, be with, partner this body. Be in relationship to and with this body. Fall in love again with this body. Embrace the life you are gifted now as you are walking this path into this day. Embrace this body as it is showing up here and now for you. Breathe in, give it breath. Breathe in, give it life. Breathe in, breathe in. Fill yourself with hope and optimism and the powerful integrity as you step into this day with loving knowing, loving knowing, strength and stability in your body. Be here now. Be here now. Come back home to your body. She will forgive you. They will forgive you. The body, she, her, his, him, them, they, all, your body will embrace you when you come home. Come home to your body. And start to love again. Start to love again. This is how. This is the way. Embodied. Nice gentle breathing. (sighs) Letting your breath flow in a way that works for you. So that the pink light energy, the rich red root energy can come together to support you and to amplify inside your body to bring the energy essence of who you are as a soul into the body once again, to reunite with the body in devotion, in beautiful partnership, relationship, and connection. This is the truest form of love. This is how you source your strength, how you feel stable and steady, is this right here, this. So give yourself some time in this space if you have the ability to do that. After this meditation, I'd encourage you to journal or write, maybe even write a little to your body. Maybe you have some things to talk about. Maybe you feel as though you need to make amends and ask for grace from your body. I promise you, your body will forgive you and will welcome you with open arms once again. Your body truly unconditionally loves and that's what you've been looking for outside of it all along. This is Bridget. Thank you for listening to the Sunday Morning Coffee episode. This is my podcast. You can find it on Above Life channel on YouTube. I am an intuitive life coach and a psychic medium. You can request private session work with me by checking out the description to this video and scheduling your own appointment. 
I hope that we've inspired your spirit today and filled you with hope and encouraged you to live your life. This, my friend, is your life after all. And do you get the incredible gift of the opportunity to live it? So just live it. <laughs>